Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. It is at the end of the day of day 13, y'all. We are moving right along. I'm so grateful to the Lord that he has given us this experience. I pray that each and every one of you are moving right along as well, that this is not anything hard for you to do, but it's something that you're enjoying doing, a consecrating to the Lord and coming, becoming one with the spirit of God. And the way that you do that is through obedience and yielding, y'all. This is why it is called a submission fast, because we are spending time with the Lord and seeing what he has to say and following his directions. And I know many people may not hear God as maybe others, praise God. But I'm telling you right now, this is the time to tune in to find out how God is speaking to you. This is the time to tune in and pay attention, close attention to your life, because everything about your life, especially when you are a child of God, listen to what I'm saying. When you are a child of God, every single thing that is happening around you, the Lord is speaking to you, praise God. Just pay attention to those things. He's warning you. He's enlightening you. I'm telling you right now, he's laying down uh, the travel in which you should go. It, you just have to pay attention, be vigilant in that. And even if a person is outside of the body of Christ, believe me, their life is also intentional because it's based on their choices. So we all have choices, y'all. Some of us could choose to not do what God says, right? And so there's going to be a consequence. Yes, that choice will have a result. And that result is going to lead into that worldly place. Understand? Because God isn't there. But when you start to choose what God chooses, you start to follow his will, then you'll find yourself moving along in the will of God. Then you'll find yourself in a place that is glorious, holy, and true. You'll find yourself in your rightful position. And this is what we are doing here at Wheat and Barley, finding ourselves in our rightful position. We don't know everything about God, but it, it doesn't hurt to try to learn, right? It doesn't hurt to read this Bible and just try our best to learn who our father is. Get to know him while we are on this earth, praise God. Because when we go home to heaven, hallelujah, because we're citizens there, praise God, we shouldn't just be getting to know our father. We should be getting to know our father right here. Getting to know his goodness, hallelujah. Understanding who he is and what he's about, praise God. Understanding his voice. The Bible teaches us that, you know, this is Jesus, y'all. Jesus says his sheep will know his voice, praise God. Hallelujah. Do you know his voice? What does he sound like? How does he speak to you? This is consecration. Because through consecration, you will see, you will discover, you will experience how the Lord speaks to you in Jesus' mighty name. And understand that the Holy Spirit that's in you will do the speaking, but the Holy Spirit that's in you will be a witness of Jesus Christ. Praise God. All right, y'all, let's move right along. So we're just going to go back to Luke right quick just to catch us up on day 13 of where we are. And so this is where uh, Jesus told the disciples to go get the coat and they went to get the coat and, you know, they had to basically answer the question as to why they were getting it because the Lord needed it, praise God. And they were bringing it back to Jesus and they put Jesus on it. But before they did, they laid their cloaks on the um, coat and they put Jesus on the, uh, on the uh, coat, praise God, hallelujah. And what happened in that was that um, in doing so, when they started to bring Jesus into Jerusalem and through that path, right, through that journey in which they were going, uh, the people began to lay their clothes on the ground, okay? And the cult would be walking over these cloaks. But listen to what I'm saying. This is a sign of honor, but more so this is an acknowledgement of the Messiah, now, let's go back to the disciples. The disciples, when they went to get to cult, that was yielding to Jesus. That was being obedient to what they were told to do. And when they were asked, what were they doing? Why were they untying the cult? They said exactly what Jesus said. They didn't add to it. They didn't take away from it. And when they returned, they helped Jesus on the cult. They put him there, praise God, hallelujah. And before they did that, they laid their cloaks down so that he could have a seat on the colt, right? Hallelujah, as a king should. And as the colt was walking and the king is on the colt, the Messiah is on the colt, praise God. They are laying down their cloaks, the people, and they are cheering him on because they recognize him as Jesus, the Messiah. Now, here's the thing in all of this. 
everyone who are praising, worshiping, laying down quotes, all of them are yielding. All of them were yielding. Praise God. They were not thinking about themselves. It was all focused on Jesus. Their mind was on Jesus. Their praise was on Jesus. Their help was on Jesus. Their efforts were, were on Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their worship was on Jesus. Their cheering was on Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we keep our mind on Jesus, let's think about this incident right here. This instance, not incident, this instance right here where everyone who were encountering him, right? They were praising him. Now, there were some when we continue to read who were, um, you know, they had uh, something to say. You know, there's always somebody with something to say, y'all. Understand, there's somebody, there's... There's always somebody with something to say. There's always going to be somebody feeling some kind of way. Praise God. You cannot be moved by that. What I'm learning from the Lord is that you do, you keep going, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep going because what the Lord will do, he will bring those in your life who were meant to be in your life and he will, do, he will literally uh, uh, delete, uh, eliminate. He will detour people. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it just means that, Hey, maybe some people are on your journey for a short time. Maybe some people are on your journey for a long time. Sometimes people decide not to be on your journey anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just understand those things. And it's okay. You keep going no matter what. Praise God. Because let me tell you something about God. What he said he's going to do, he's going to do. And through your experiences, you're going to meet so many different uh, faces of life. But you have to learn how to keep going regardless of how close those faces are to you or how distant they are to you, praise God. You still have to keep going in what God has ordered you to do because that's what you're accountable for. So for me, for instance, praise God, I have to give the messages out as the Lord is calling me to, I have to pray, praise God, hallelujah, as the Lord is calling me to. And not only that, doing communion, praise God, as he has ordered this for this fast, I have to do it, y'all, hallelujah. Why? Because he ordered me to, praise God, hallelujah. That's it. <laughs> so just as the Jesus ordered the disciples to go get the coat, that's it. Go get the coat, praise God, hallelujah. You know, and it just shows that they honor him. They, they acknowledged him as the Messiah from what they did and had their posture with him, praise God. And we want to have a yielding posture to our Lord and Savior. We want to be in position to where we're constantly praising him and honoring him and worshiping him, not focusing on ourselves, but focusing on him. And everything else will be put in place, praise God. And I do believe that the Lord will provide for us, praise God, hallelujah, because he is so good. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you receive that message and understand the yielding in that, praise God, because it's so beautiful just to see. And I was even um, trying to figure that out. Like, Lord, how are we going to focus on Luke 19, thinking that there are so many other uh, chapters that we could focus on for surrendering, right? For yielding to the Holy Spirit, for yielding to the Spirit of God. But what I'm learning is when you follow Jesus Christ, when you follow the Lord, he just knows best. He knows what people need. He knows what I need. He knows what... Uh, those will be drawn to this platform need praise God hallelujah and he's doing just that and I'm just so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord and to be obedient to his call hallelujah because he has a greater understanding of each of us praise God as a whole hallelujah and individually greater perspective than anyone else praise God and I'm just so grateful to follow him and I pray that you are too in Jesus mighty name all right we're going to go ahead and take communion we're going to uh first Corinthians chapter 11 starting at verse 23 and it reads, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in the remembrance of me.
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number sleep. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for this day. We thank you for bringing us together and honoring you. For today is all about honoring you, Jesus. We love you and we glorify you. We know that there's no other way to salvation but through you. We understand that you are our rock. We understand, hallelujah, that you are the one who makes the way out of no way. We understand, praise God, hallelujah, that you ascended just for us, praise God, so you can reign in all power and authority, making a way for us, mediating still for us, praise God. We honor you, Jesus. We love you. Hallelujah. We thank you for the motions on which you put out. Praise God. We thank you for giving us glimpses of our future. We thank you, oh Lord God, for sending people our way to help us along the way, oh Lord God. Thank you for the destiny helpers, oh Lord God. Thank you for those who are planted in you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for those who have a heart for you, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for every single person who's on this platform, Lord God, who's watching, who's fasting, who's seeking you, who has their mind on you, oh Lord God, hallelujah, who wants to be close to you, who wants to stretch out to you, who wants to press in to you, hallelujah. I pray for each and every one of them, oh Lord God. Strengthen them in this time, oh Father God. Let them see you and count you in greater ways in the mighty name of Jesus. For we love you and we honor you, oh Lord. You are a blessing to each and every one of us. Hallelujah. You're such a blessing to each and every one of us. You don't owe us anything, oh Lord. Not one thing, praise God. For you have paid the full price for everything. We have access to everything. Hallelujah. Show us how to access it, oh Lord God. Show us how to walk on our paths the way that you have designed, oh Father God. If we're missing anything, oh Lord God, let us know what we're missing in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We only want to do what you are calling us to do, oh Father. We love you, we honor you, and we glorify you. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me for day 13. I pray that this is a blessing to you. And I just want to share this with you as we're coming in today, 14 on tomorrow, 6 a.m. I'll be here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Prayer uploaded in the mighty name of Jesus with a blessing and a word for you in Jesus' mighty name. So you can go throughout your day consecrated to the Lord. But today, the Lord, even in consecration, gave me a word. And it was an end-time word. It was an end-time prophetic message, praise God, that I'll be putting out a little later. But I'm telling you right now that we are getting to a time where it is going to be very, very clear as it's becoming clear. I'm telling you, he has that lens, I'm telling you, and it's focusing. This picture that we're watching, y'all, it is coming into clarity. We are clearly seeing those who are with God and those who are not. Even on the pulpit, you are now seeing people who are truly with God and people who are not. Hallelujah. It's coming into focus, y'all. People aren't going to be able to hide anymore. Either they're with God or they're not. Either they're obedient or they're not. Either, either, either. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Either they're on Jesus' side or they're not. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can claim the focus on one thing. We can claim to be righteous. We can claim all of these things. Praise God. Because we're saved. Hallelujah. But how many of you know that we have to apply this word to our life? We have to live it and be it. If we're going to take communion and we're drinking the blood covenant, praise God, hallelujah, we're eating the flesh, praise God, the bread in the mighty name of Jesus, understand what I'm saying to you. We have to be, we have to become, hallelujah, what God has positioned us to be. And either we're going to do it or we're not, praise God. So that's a decision for each and every one of us, hallelujah, either me too, either I'm going to do it or I'm not. Either I'm going to uh, uh, take communion or not. Either I'm going to put out the message or not. Either I'm going to be for Jesus or not. Either I'm going to, you understand what I'm saying, praise God. It's a choice. We have 